So before we start, I am going to cleanse the area and then just cleanse the base of the nose as well. And also I'll incorporate the chin while we're doing the nose wax. So I will cleanse the chin area as well. Have your lolly stick at the ready. Test the wax on your wrist. That feels fine. Okay. And apply the Moo Care Oil. So lolly stick. So I'm going to apply the wax onto the lip. So you would ask your client beforehand if they would like their nostril waxing. If it's a no, then that's as far as you go with the wax. If it's a yes, however, it's a yes for me. <laughs> then apply the wax. downwards as normal and then bring it up into the nostril. Ask your client to breathe through her mouth and tell her that you are only going to do one side at a time. This can actually make some people feel quite claustrophobic so they need to know that they can breathe. How does that feel? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're removing the wax this is just the lip you support the skin one flick and up now i don't know if you can see here but there's some hair that's left so i'm going to it doesn't always pick it up on the first time so i'm going to go over this again just in exactly the same way and we'll incorporate the nostril next time oh, so yeah. I will wait until this one has finished <laughs> dried <laughs> not finished dried you can usually feel when it's set and the, the difficulty with the nostril wax is that sometimes the lip section is set but the nostril section is still slightly runny so when you pull it out it might just string a little bit. So if that happens, just stick it all back together <laughs> and then wait until it's dry. Usually about just another minute or so, that's fine. So I'm gonna support the skin, one flick up and then off. And then you get a nice little porcupine, look at that. <laughs> Love it. Some people wanna take these home. What? Yes. No. So we're going to do the other side of the lip again, but incorporate the nostril this time. So remember to remind your client to breathe through her mouth. And check that the temperature still feels okay for her. How's that temperature for you? Fine, great. and you can leave that to dry. If you're doing a chin wax as well, then you can do the chin wax while the lip wax is drying. And a chin wax can incorporate as much or as little of the chin as you need it to. Some people have hair, just a couple of stronger hairs on this area here. Some people have hair right underneath here. It might be thick black hair, or it could be more fuzzy superfluous hair. And Super some people- Superfluous. Have, superfluous, darling. <laughs> and um, some people have it going right down onto their throat. So just get them to stretch up, stretch up their neck, and you can get to that area there. But it's all, areas that you can be doing while this nose wax is drying. But we're not gonna do this section today, so you can pop your head back down. I'm just testing to see if that's dry. 
The chin usually dries quite quickly because it's just quite a flat area. So support the skin, one flick and off. Just breathe through your mouth for me, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this side of the nostril. So one flick up and pull off. And again, not too much on there, but enough. Oh, there you go. I don't want it, thanks. No <laughs> bogeys today. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you do get the odd bogey that comes out on it. <laughs> I have to say. Nice. Um, just don't make a fuss. <laughs> <laughs> just dispose of it nice and quickly and I'm sure the client would be mortified if she knew. So just probably best not say anything. If you've got any stragglers left behind, you can just tweeze very quickly. You could also thread any um, hair that has been left behind. It depends, obviously, if you can thread or not. There's something... Is that to get those superfluous, superfluous hairs? Yes. I love that work. It's a good work, isn't mm. it? And then apply the Moo Care oil as your post wax oil this helps to just to reduce any redness and soothe the skin <laughs> 